and it really pays to the penalty. It just takes a couple incidents. If three more of these incidents happen in Barbados, we know that the Canadian High Commission is going to start saying, you know what, y'all really shouldn't go to Barbados. And because these sort of videos go viral and it hits the internet, it's going to go to America, it's going to go to England, it's going to go to all the places where we depend on these people to come and bring money. They don't feel safe, they're not going to come. So what happens to our economy then? Residents at Eden Park Christchurch Entrepreneurial Network 10 Habitat is seeking to raise $1 million to fund the Described Saturday night's home invasion. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> Shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem It's Monday. Hash. The born of the mighty church, the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Shalom to the Akim worldwide that are sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Mokah Kadash. Second Peter chapter one verse one or two to you all. Yeah, I'm the disciple Pusha Banyamin. So we just heard I can play the video to give you a, a, a backdrop of uh, what happened on the twenty fourth of February, all right? February twenty fourth. And time for your Bobby this today morning news update. Simply callous. That's how Attorney General Dale Marshall has described Saturday night's home invasion which left Canadian visitor Kenneth Elliott nursing a gunshot injury. The 65-year-old was shot in the left shoulder when three armed men entered the Christchurch residence where he and his family were staying. In condemning the attack, Minister Marshall also described it as worrying. This house was not a tourist tenant. This house was in a residential community in Christchurch. Now, there are two things about that that should worry us. The first one, of course, is that tourism is all bread and butter. And Barbados cannot afford to have any negative references made about how safe or unsafe. In fact, Barbados, Barbados has always been felt to be a safe place for visitors. And this kind of chance conduct on the part of a few weekends can threaten the livelihood and the livelihood of our country. But the second thing is that it's clear that these people are having to go anywhere to perpetrate crime. So I want to tell you that while this happened to tourists, it could have happened to you or me. It may happen in the tourist that may happen in the residential field. The AG who was addressing a Barbados labor party. I mean oh, the attack. <clears throat> to give you the back, you saw the backdrop. He saw was invaded, his home was invaded, and uh, I caught the beginning of the news late, but it said um, he was left paralyzed. He was left paralyzed after this. That Minister Marshall also described it as worrying. This house is paralyzed. Be callous. That's how Attorney General Dale Marshall has described Saturday night's home invasion which left Canadian visitor Kenneth Elliott nursing a gunshot injury. Right, and today, the 26th, it is, yeah, the 26th of February, he's now paralyzed, all right? He's now paralyzed. So now you're seeing people worrying about, um, because Barbados bread and butter, as you heard the Attorney General, is uh, tourism. It was once sugar cane, it was once tobacco, cotton, but um, now it's tourism. So now they're worrying about tourism, how this will have an impact. Um, and on that note, you have six students who returned from China. Uh, they returned from China today. So this island is about to face some serious judgment. But I want to stick to the point. The point is that, first of all, this this was judgment on the saw Edom. You see? <clears throat> it was judgment on that. But, let me get to the point here now. Right? I made this video short. Lord is still at the fan. Alright? In the book of Second Ezra's. Sixth chapter right here too. Second Ezra six 
and um, let me start at 24 at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein because it's going to be so much chaos in the earth then you will be afraid to leave your homes you'll be afraid to leave your houses you say the springs of the fountain shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run all right now there's the book of second Ezra 15 second Ezra 15 and 14 woe to the world and them that dwell therein for the sword and their destruction drive nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands so it's going to be race wars, race wars all over the earth the Caribbean isn't exempt for there shall be sedition among men where sedition means uprisings or riots and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because it's going to be martial law it's going to be rule blocks but because of their pride but because of their pride right whose pride the people's pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid because there's going to be more home invasions man you see our lord told the women right So if they do these things in the in the green tree, in other words, everything so called still running, but you got home invasions as you just saw there, right? But what about the when it becomes dry? What about when the city shut down, and the storehouses are empty, there's no more work? You see? What about that time? Right? When you can't eat. Luke, St. Luke 23, and um, sorry, 27, man, and there followed him a great company of people and of women, which also bewailed and lamented him, because he was walking with the cross, he was beaten, you know what I mean, bloodied, in and out of consciousness, you see, being laughed at, spit on, slapped, you know what I mean? But Yahweh Shai does its true name because J was the last letter into the English language. Came about in 1634. And when he, the earth, when he wore the earth, he spoke Hebrew because he knocked Paul off the horse and he spoke to Paul in the Hebrew tongue. And the angel told Mary, You shall have a son and ye shall uh, call his name Yahweh Shai for he shall save. That's what his name means. Yah means he. Yah means he. And how shall it mean savior or deliverer, redeemer, or redeemer? So, but how will shall turn it unto them? Say, daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming, in the which they shall say, Blessed are the barren and the wounds that never bear, and the parts which never give suck. Then shall they begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. Yeah, looking for shelter. You say from the martial law troops, you say kicking in your doors, etc. Be for if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in a dry? Because everything's so called running good, but now when everything shuts down, when it's all anarchy in the, in the streets, there's no hose barred. So we just saw here with just a with just a, a, a um, inkling of what's to come. The 65 year old was shot in the left shoulder. Now, which left him paralyzed because the news report yesterday said he went through his shoulder, through the lungs, and pierced his spinal cord. And now he's paralyzed. You see? So, hey, these things get increased in the world. The Lord said in the book of St. Matthew, then again, shot, shot. St. Matthew, chapter 24. Verse 6, right? For nation shall rise against nation. You hear that? Nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. You see? So, although there's going to be, 
is going to be race wars. It's still going to be um, kingdoms against kingdoms be, but they're going to be rumors of wars. You say so, plotting and scheming, bombs dropping here, biological warfare, etc. Be, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrow. So this is just the beginning of sorrow. Not only for not only for Esau, Edom, but for the world be. You say, but for the world. The scripture says men's hearts feeling them for if I let me get our last one. Men's hearts feeling them for fear. Right? For the tax be. You say. Men's hearts feeling them for fear. St. Luke 21, 26. St. Luke 21. Let me start 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. Distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Men's hearts feeling them for fear. And for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Yet yeah, he saw his whole society, this whole earth is going to be shaken with the coming of our Lord. You see? All praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai.